We're here at uh, our police station today with the Fort McMurray Oil Barons uh, from the Alberta Hockey League. We're uh, just uh, sitting in on uh, judo night here at the police station. They are here for drug education and a drug mentorship program. They come all the way from Fort McMurray to learn all about the drugs that we as police officers on the downtown east side deal with every day. We're here in Vancouver with uh, Project Keep Straight and the Odd Squad. We're here to learn about drug awareness and gang, gang awareness as well. And we. Uh, we learn a bunch of stuff here and we bring it back to Fort McMurray and try and uh, teach kids about drugs and gangs and what it's all about and try and set them on the right uh, path for, for good choices. There's a lot of kids think that if I'm simply smoking heroin, I'm not an addict. The only time you'll become an addict when you're using heroin is when you start to inject it. And that's not the case. So it's really important to emphasize that as well. There's a lot of kids think that you, you're not addicted to pot. Pot is not an addictive drug. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. The number one drug for youth right now in the province of British Columbia to get admitted into a treatment program is marijuana. And again, addiction is a pretty hard thing to beat. He would rather leave the hospital and suffer further, further infection. His infection was so bad that it was uh, basically pumping out pus at such a great speed that the only way that they could keep the open wound clean was to install that device on it. When he took this guy down, if he didn't fear for his life, he would spell it out for you very crystal clear. All my choices, every decision I was making, when I decided to embark on this journey here, from here to here, do you think that took a very long period of time? Uh, as Dave probably explained to you guys, uh, lots of lots of sort of loitering, milling about in front of the Carnegie Center. Um, lots of uh, drug transactions, lots of people looking for dope, lots of people selling dope. Very typical laneway in the downtown east side, right? Kind of dark, dingy, lots of dumpsters, all the crap in the dumpsters has been thrown all over the sidewalk because people are looking for bottles or, or uh, they're tweaking, look, look, looking for anything, you know, anything they can try and smoke. And then two days after my mom died, my mom's dad died, my grandpa. So there were three of them all in a row. Mm -hmm. I do artwork, so I'm always in the back alley looking for art supplies. When we're walking around here too, you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of um, single room occupancy hotels. We call them SROs. The region is a perfect example. There's a couple up here that we can see, the Washington Hotel, the Balmoral Hotel. These are basically single rooms. We're gonna walk into one of them and we'll, we'll show you what it looks like from the inside. But basically, SRO, an SRO is a single room you get with, uh, you don't have anything else other than a sink and a bed, and maybe a window if you're lucky. So I'm here with Luke. Uh, he's from the Fort Memory Oil Barons. So Luke, what do you think of the living conditions here? Uh, it's nothing like I've ever seen, you know, somewhere, you know, pretty different to what I've been been exposed to. Scott, what do you think of the experience so far uh, in the SRO, single room occupancy hotel here? Um, it's not ideal living conditions. By any means, walking in, you notice the uh, stench that there is on every floor and the dirt and the cobwebs and just the little uh, critters like uh, cockroaches and the flies that are flying around and everything. It, uh, it's a little scary to be honest. Learned today that there's uh, two ways to go in your life and that's kind of there's a fork in the road and a section and you can pick a good path that will lead on to great things or you can choose a path that could turn you to a downward spiral. And everyone we've talked to has been nice and they've been really open to to giving people advice and it shows that they just don't want people to, to turn out like they did and they just want to help the other kids make, uh, stop the other kids from making the same mistakes they did that got them to this part of town. <laughs>